Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. I'm out in the woods today, spending a little time and uh, it might rain on me, so I got a little shelter up here. And I'm here to really show you this. This mess kit. The WZ2331. And I brought out my uh, Polish bread bag here and my 1951 Polish canteen also. And while we're talking about this mess kit, I'm also going to compare it to the WZ70 that you've seen in my other videos. Uh, and just show you what the differences are so you can tell which one that you have or which one you're looking at to buy. So sit back and enjoy the review. Okay, so let's take a look at this thing. I recently picked this up at my local surplus store and he had a whole bunch of Hungarian and Polish mess kits mixed together. And I picked, went through and picked the best one. It was in best condition and the oldest. This one is actually made in 1952. I hope you can see that there. WP 1952 and then some, some writing. Okay. Um, the stamp on the bottom, the only thing I don't like is with this kit is the stamp is incomplete. But I'll show you why I chose this anyways, even though the stamp is incomplete. It's a, it is a matching set. Um, I did notice that uh, the kits that were one year newer, 1953, had a different bracket on the side. This one has like a, a very simple bent over piece of metal ear and two rivets. And the bell handle's welded right here. Uh, same on the other side. The other ones, 1953 and up, all had a bracket that looked very similar to this WZ70 bracket. Okay, so I figured that uh, even though the stamping was incomplete on the bottom, uh, it definitely is a 52 because it's because uh, of the different uh, brackets that were on there. Okay. Um, as you can see, judging between the two, let's see if I can get them both in frame, you can see that the WZ70 has the, um, let me move this canteen, has a much deeper cup. They don't look like it on this film probably, but they are exactly the same height. But this cup is deeper and the pot is shorter, and this cup, as you can see, is shallower. All right. Matter of fact, this pot is about half inch taller than this one. So if I take the lid off of off from this one, it's a half inch taller. Let me get that in frame. It's about a half inch taller compared to the WZ70. Okay, so around 1970 when they came out with this one, they just came out with a different train of thought. They wanted a deeper cup uh, and a shallower pot, which I think makes sense because this pot is enough deep enough here you could feed two soldiers out of it. This one's more for a single guy, so you get a deeper cup and a shorter pot. Uh, but they're both well-made kits. Okay, there's there's nothing wrong with either one of them. They're really nice. Okay. Uh, they both have the double, the heavy duty handle, the most thickest handle that I've seen on, uh, one of the thickest I've seen on any, uh, German type mess kit that they, that are made, okay? Let's get this guy out of the way. You can see it's got, uh, three rivets and it has a bracket but no hole in it for the belt to pass through. And it has this half moon style, uh, bracket on the bottom for the belt okay so I, there was a belt that passed through here I believe went over the top of this and then went around this okay and that kind of held the kit together 
Then there was another belt that went around here that actually fastened to the soldier's pack. Okay, so sometimes they carried these on the back of their pack. Sometimes they carried them inside their pack. It just depends. Okay, and you can see here that the same thinking was with the WZ-70. Same half moon style bracket. No hole here, but it has a bracket here for the belt to go across. Okay, and around it. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, this pot thickness I measured. If you saw my other video before this, uh, post-World War II German mess kits. I did a video on that and I compared a bunch of different mess kits including this WZ-70. It's in that video. And I actually took a micrometer and measured right here. That's the straightest piece I could find just to tell where the pot thickness was. Okay, so for those who find it interesting, it is measured 45 thousandths or 0 .045 inches. Okay, so that's what the measurement, the thickness is of this pot. And it's, this, this is a lot thicker than, um, than a lot of the other German mess kits. I have to say that the, the Polish really did a good job when they build the, built these, okay? Because they're really nice built, very heavy duty aluminum, okay? So yeah, I forgot to mention both of these, the cup and the pot are aluminum. Um, also, something I need to mention, speaking of aluminum, uh, they've been making these since before World War II, and the ones that were post -war, or pre World War II, I'm sorry, pre World War II, were a a tinned uh, steel. Okay, so and then the, this one's a post war, and they went to an aluminum after that because this was 1952. All right, uh, the kit weighs together with the cup and the pot. 17.9 ounces all together or 508 grams um, if you the pot itself all the way up to the rim here filled up is holds six and a half cups all the way to the top or 1.5 liters so I have to say it's probably about five five and a half cups of usable space in here before you overfill it okay usable cooking space uh, also there are these lines. I forgot to measure what these increments are, but they are there to help you measure water so that uh, when you're doing different recipes or whatever, so you know how much water you have in your pot. The cup itself holds two and a half cups all the way to the top. That's, I mean, sloshing over, or 600 milliliters. So I have to say it's probably less than two cups you can actually use to cook with in here without uh, losing your meal, okay? Uh, let's see, what else can I tell you? Just, it's an overall, just a really good kit. Oh, there's one more thing. It also, this bracket, I think, has a double use here too. Remember I told you the belt goes around this. You can also slip your handle in here like this and have it so you can go through a chow line. And get food in each one and just hold just take up one hand you can have another hand that's free to do something else okay and also as I said in the other videos this little bracket here is nice if you're trying to hold this over a fire this this aluminum gets very hot very fast you can put a stick in here and it's like a, an extension you can hold it over the fire and I've I've done that with my WZ 70 it works really really well for that so I brought a little something to cook out here. So let me get that all set up and we'll get to doing that. Okay, so for today we're going to be making some buckwheat. Here's the whole grain buckwheat. I'm going to be sauteing some carrots, some celery, and some onions first. And this is a little bit of beef bouillon. And I will be using my Trangia stove and my wood burning stove there to uh, I don't really uh, want to ruin my pot this is kind of a collector for me so the alcohol won't leave any smudges on the bottom it'll, it'll stay basically the same so let me get going by with sauteing these vegetables
Got a little bit of oil in here, olive oil. And I forgot to mention, just like any of the other German mess kits, the handle stays up on this side and it folds over when you go this way. So we're going to set it like this. Get the oil hot and we're going to add the vegetables in. Listen to the sizzle. And if you remember my other video with the WZ70, I had the Polish silverware set. So that's what I'll be using today. Okay, we're gonna let this saute up and we'll come right back to you. Oh yeah, looking good. Okay, so now, using our, can't get it on frame, but using our Polish canteen, <laughs> there it is. We're gonna add one cup of water because I have a half a cup of buckwheat. Okay. Okay, there's a cup of water. Maybe just a hair more because I don't have a tight fitting lid. Okay. And then we're going to add our um, our beef bouillon. Give it a stir. All right, and then we're going to bring this back up to a boil, and then we'll add our buckwheat. Okay, it's time to add our buckwheat. One half cup of buckwheat. The steam's coming up on the lens. Oh, spilled some, dang it. That's all right. Okay. Ooh, it's fogging up the lens. Okay, so let me put the simmer ring on this. There we go. It's still lit. Okay, we're gonna let this simmer just for a few minutes and let all this water be absorbed. Okay, let's take a look now. Okay. All of our water, oops, has absorbed. For the most part, there's still a little bit in there. So we'll let it go for another five minutes or so just to absorb that water and it's ready to eat.
Okay, it's ready. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my review of the Polish Army WZ-2331 mess kit. Here's the cup and the pot with what's left of my uh, buckwheat in there. And out here also is the Polish silverware set from my other video. Just see the description box down the bottom to see that video where I talk about the WZ-70. And my Polish bread bag in the back back there for looks. Uh, I have also has a, have a video on that. It's a very nice day bag that you can carry with lots of pockets. And I, I'll put a, uh, a link in the description to that video that I made on that. And uh, and then lastly, I got my little Swiss Army mess kit cup, or uh, canteen cup that was that came with my canteen. So uh, thanks for watching today. If you like what you've seen today, I, I would ask you to subscribe to my channel. I do all kinds of military surplus review videos like this outdoor videos uh, kayak camping and fishing uh, regular camping and especially I love camp cooking kind of like what I'm doing here today this is kind of on the light side but uh, also if you like what you if you like my video I'd ask you to give me a thumbs up on that and it makes me feel good to see those thumbs up that I'm doing a good job and then lastly, if, if you have something you'd like to say about the video, maybe I didn't cover something right, or you have a question, please leave me a comment. I try to answer every comment that I get into my channel. Uh, so, thanks for coming along with me today, and I hope you have a good one.